A ketogenic diet or a low carb diet is not about eating tons of meat or just eating tons of fat. It's about reducing inflammation and about really triggering the right components of your body to really start activating and working towards you, not against you. So in this recipe, I'm gonna break down some anti-inflammatory ketogenic foods that can make up an awesome turmeric chia pudding that kills your cravings, but also is still something that tastes quite good and can fit a ketogenic lifestyle. So let's get into the recipe. So first things first, I'm going to add one cup of almond milk, just as unsweetened, good old fashioned organic almond milk that does not have carrageenan in it. Just so you know, carrageenan is a derivative of red seaweed extract, which is actually very, very inflammatory. Believe it or not, carrageenan is actually used in studies to promote and induce inflammation. That's how inflammatory it is. So make sure whatever almond milk you get does not have carrageenan in it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start warming up this almond milk to get it up to a point where it's steaming, but not boiling. Once it gets to a point where it's steaming, I'm gonna reduce the heat quite a bit. So once this is steaming, the first thing that I wanna do is I wanna add a little bit of turmeric. Now, as you know, we're all turmeric fans here, but I'm adding a tablespoon and a half of turmeric. This is simply acting as obviously our anti-inflammatory root, no pun intended, of the recipe. The whole idea behind the turmeric here is to reduce that nuclear factor kappa B, which is the head honcho when it comes down to inflammation. So if we can stay in a ketogenic state where we're producing beta hydroxybutyrate and we're already in a nice anti-inflammatory state and then we add turmeric into the mix, it's like a double whammy. Okay, so now that this is steaming and has the turmeric added, I'm gonna go ahead and add a couple other things. I'm adding a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. The reason I'm using cinnamon, particularly when it comes down to a ketogenic diet, is it actually mimics insulin within the body. What that means it's going to do is it's actually going to help whatever blood sugar is floating around through your bloodstream get into the cell so it stops affecting any kind of ketogenic state or any kind of low carb state. But it's also going to promote a nice anti-inflammatory lifestyle as well, simply because cinnamon has its own anti-inflammatory properties. So mix that up. Then I've got just about a third of a teaspoon of ginger. Okay, just good old ginger powder. Huge, huge properties when it comes down to digestive inflammation when we're talking about ginger. Okay, there have been a lot of studies that have shown that it not only aids in digestion, but there's also one study that actually showed that it reduced knee pain in particular subjects that were experiencing chronic joint pain. So we have a big, big benefit there. I'm gonna reduce this heat quite a bit because it's starting to get to a point now. Here we go. Okay, now I'm going to add just about a half a tablespoon of ghee. Okay. The reason that I'm using ghee is because it doesn't have the milk solids in it. It doesn't have the milk sugar, so it's not going to affect your ketogenic state. And when it comes down to it, it's a lot more nutrient dense than regular butter. This is what's going to give this a nice thick flavor to it. It's going to actually give it a little bit of richness. Okay. Then I'm going to add a little bit of stevia. Now I'm just going to eyeball this, but generally speaking, you want to add about a teaspoon or so. You can always add a little bit more if you need to. Now we're gonna let this mix for about one to two minutes before we add in the next ingredient, okay? Okay, once that's been mixed up for about a minute or two, that's when I get to add the good stuff. I'm adding four tablespoons of chia seeds. Now before you hate on me for chia seeds, let me explain a little bit of the science that goes into this. Yes, chia seeds are an alpha linoleic acid fat, which does mean that although they are an omega-3, they don't convert entirely in the body like traditional EPA or DHA does. But they are still extremely, extremely healthy and extremely high in fiber and very low in omega-6 fatty acids. So you don't have the phytoestrogens that you would normally get with something like, say, flax, for instance. But the big reason that they're in this recipe is simply because chia seeds gelatinize. And when they gelatinize, you get this pudding-like structure, this pudding-like consistency. That's what's making this literally a pudding. So when we have the almond milk, and we have the chia, and we have the stevia, and we have, of course, the turmeric, we end up with a pudding. Now, this is gonna mix. I'm gonna turn the heat off and literally gonna let this sit for about 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, we've got a pudding. You can put it in the fridge and you've got two or three servings that have practically no calories, that have tons of omegas, tons of anti-inflammatory benefits, and of course, all the goodness that's gonna keep you satiated when you're on a low carb diet. So we're just gonna let that sit for about 15 minutes. So now it's been about 10 or 15 minutes and this stuff is totally set up. Now, remember I mentioned the chia seeds actually have that gelatinizing property to them. Well, that's exactly what we've got going on here. And I know the color isn't exactly what you would call appetizing, but when you taste it, it changes the story. So right here, we have a perfect chia pudding 
that only has about five or six grams of net carbs, but has all the power of the turmeric, all the power of the omegas that are not only gonna help your inflammatory levels in your body, but are also gonna help your brain. So I know it's not the prettiest thing in the world, but it's not really the color that matters. The fact is, I miss pudding. Being in ketosis, I truly miss pudding, and I can't find a single pudding out there that I can eat that won't kick me out of ketosis. So, now I've got this. I hope that you try it out, I hope that you enjoy it. And as always, if you have any ideas for future recipe videos, please make sure you comment below and let me know. I'll see you in the next video.